Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing my updated CD collection and I don't want this video to be super long so I'm just going to jump right into the video before it gets to be like an hour long because I have like I think close to 100 CDs. I'm a hoarder, I know. So the first CD I have is Blind Man Zoo by 10,000 Maniacs. Um, this used to be my dad's, um, I stuck a Lady in the Tramp sticker on here, probably when I was a fetus. And I have Black Ice by ACDC and the Iron Man 2 soundtrack. ACDC was one of the first rock bands that I fell in love with. Then I have Weightless by Aegis. They are a really good, like, just chill rock band if you want to, like, sit down and listen to something that's not super heavy. This is a good album to, like, just pick up. Then I have The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here by Alice in Chains. Love them. One of the first grunge bands I ever listened to. <laughs> then I have Nothing Personal by All Time Low. Future Hearts by All Time Low. And Last Gen Renegade also by All Time Low. All Time Low are the only pop punk band that I care about. Then I have The Black by Asking Alexandria. This was their only album they did with Dennis Stoff. Then I have Goodbye Lullaby by Avril Lavigne. This is an homage to my elementary school days and middle school days. Then I have Awaken Color by Bad Seed Rising. Totally wish this band didn't break up. They are super good. Um, I actually have this signed by the vocalist Francesca Pastor. Then I have Disobey by Bad Wolves. Love this band as well. Then I have Endless Night by Black Sky, one of my favorite local bands from Washington. Then here is my favorite band from middle school. We Stitched These Wounds by Black Little Brides. Set the World on Fire by Black Little Brides. Wretched in the... Wretched and Divine, The Story of the Wild Ones, also by Black Bell Brides. They have like obscenely long album names. Then I have Hollow Bodies by Bless the Fall. That's The Spirit by Bring Me the Horizon. Demon ZP by Candlelight Red. This one is signed by the band. They were the first band I ever met. Then I have This Is the End of Control by Cherry Bomb. Totally miss this band as well. They don't make music under this name anymore or as good as this. Our Codes and Keys by Death Kept for Cutie. I no longer own plans by Death Kept for Cutie and you will find out in this video. I still think this one's called The White Wedding by Duran Duran. Then I have Fallen by Evanescence and their self-titled album. Then I have Masks by I Said to Kill. This is my favorite I Said to Kill album. Then I have American Beauty, American Psycho by Fall Out Boy. Then I have Death Grips by Fit for a Keen. I'm seeing them in February with Miss May I and August Burns Red. I'm super excited to see them there. Then I have Florence the Machine Lungs and Ceremonials. Then I have Flyleaf Self Titled, Memento More, Remember to Live, and New Horizons. They were one of my favorite bands in middle school and high. I think early, I, early high school. Not entirely sure. Then I have Greatest Hits from Foo Fighters. Then I have Fight the Silence by For Today. Also miss this band. I could totally do like a video of bands I wish didn't break up if you guys would like to see that. Then I have Lies by Guns N' Roses. Then I have The Best of The Grateful Dead. Um, I actually traded this or traded my Death Cat for Kitty plan CD for this album with an artist named Michael who I really bonded with and he was just going to give me this but I was like no you take one of my CDs and I'll take this. I have a modern day classic, American Idiot by Green Day. Then I have A Strange Case of Hellstorm and Into the Wildlife. This is my favorite Hellstorm album right here. Then I have Safe is Just a Shadow. This is the reissued version from Ice Nine Kills. Every Trick in the Book also by Ice Nine Kills in their most recent album, the Silver Scream, which I got in the limited edition DVD case because I'm extra. Then I have the Now You Know EP by Icon for Hire, signed by the vocalist and former drummer. Then I have Night Visions, Continued Silence EP, Smoke and Mirrors. These were out of order, so there we go. Then I have Ritual by In This Moment, one of my favorites by them. Then I have Listen Like Thieves by NXS and their self-titled album. These were like another one of 
the CDs that my dad gave me. Then I have Power Under Control by Islander. This is a fantastic album. Highly recommend it. Then I have Fit to Be Tied, Great Hits by Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Then I have Jewel Vera, Friendly Enemies, and Waiting on the Sun. Me and my mom really liked these guys when we saw them at Warp Tour 2017. Then I have Like Moths to Flames, Dark Divine. Then I have Hybrid Theory by Lincoln Park and A Thousand Suns, also by Lincoln Park. Then I have Lucid to Fly, Adapting to Gravity, Matchbox 20, Yourself or Someone Like You, Lita Ford, Stiletto, Calendar by Memphis Mayfire, the last good Memphis Mayfire album, in my opinion. Miss May I, Shadows Inside, can't wait to see them with Virgin and August Burns Red. Dr. Feel Good by Motley Crue, we got some glam metal, glam rock, whatever you want to call it. Then we have my faves, Creatures by Motionless and Wyatt, Infamous by Motionless and Wyatt, a very loved copy of Reincarnate by Motionless and Wyatt, another copy of Reincarnate. Um, and lastly, Graveyard Show. Then I have Neil Young, Greatest Hits. This was my dad's. I don't know how this ended up in my CD collection. Then I have New Year's Day, Epidemic, and My Loved Ones. And they have a new CD coming out this year. And I'm super excited to hear it. They posted a teaser of new music on their Instagram on New Year's Day. But, um, then I have the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack. I love this movie. It's one of my favorites. Then I have Native by One Republic. Then I have Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. All We Know is Falling by Paramore. Riot by Paramore. I lost the cover to this and the jewel case to this. I have Brand New Eyes by Paramore as well. Then I have Reverence by Parkway Drive. I loved this album. One of my favorites of 2018. Then I have Selfish Machines by Pierce the Bell. Throwback album. Then I have Queen Greatest Hits. Um, fun fact, I liked Queen before it was school, before the movie Bohemian Rhapsody came out. I loved Queen, okay? I have the best of Rob Zombie, um, right here, and this icon CD of Rob Zombie. And then I have Rolling Stones, 40 Licks, and look at my sweatshirt. The Rolling Stones didn't plan this. I actually really didn't plan it. Then I have the script self-titled Shine Down, Leave a Whisper, Sound of Madness, Amaryllis, and another copy of Amaryllis. And this copy of Amaryllis is signed, which is pretty cool. Not into them as much because they went in a much poppier direction than this. Then I have Slipknot Antennas to Hell. I think this is like 7 or $5 at Walmart. Pretty good find. Then I have The Smiths, Louder Than Bombs, Something More, Dogs Part 2, The Sundays, Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic, All Smiles by Swarnin. Not sure if I like them as much without Tyler Dunnan in the band, but they're super good still. Check them out. Then I have 21 Pilots, Blurry Face. I love these guys despite most of the music I listen to is metal. Anyone can like 21 Pilots. Then I have this CD from To Paint the Sky. This was Black Sky's original band name. Then I have the most recent Under Oath CD. Um, I got this when I was interning at a radio station. I think this is called Erase Me. I haven't listened to it. And I think I would like Under Oath. So I should listen to it. Um, I think I will. I have to go back to where I live, and that's five, away, five hours away from my hometown, so might li give this a listen. And the last two are um, Dark Matter by The Word Alive, The Vans. The Vans Warped Tour 2017 compilation CD. And this has like New Year's Day on it and a bunch of others. Anyways, that was my updated CD collection of 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to give a big thumbs up on this video. Comment down below with your CD collection or some of your favorite CDs that you own. And I will see you guys in the next music-related video in 2019. We're still going strong. Q end card. Bye, guys.